gonna have its own uh, things but you're gonna find it where you can overclock uh, where you can see the CPU features where you can see the memory timing or memory features or memory config where you can see the voltage control where you can control the voltage where you can uh, or, you know store your profile like in this um, elite motherboard on the sockets x48 uh, Foxconn black ops where you can even control the overclock like uh, lots, lots of manufacturers these days they making uh, overclocking experience even easier and they pre-building the, the profiles uh, so you can overclock by 5, 10, 15 and sometimes even 20 percent but I'm not suggesting you using those we are going to do like a professionals we're gonna set everything to manual as you can see over here I have overclocking disabled so it's gonna run as you can see 300 megahertz on the stock uh, target CPU core speed and clock uh, CPU clock FSB which is very important as well 333 megahertz it's like my default from the manufacturer and the memory I have 13 uh, 33 megahertz on the memory allowed by the manufacturer but over here it's running even lower by 1066 megahertz my system memory speed so it's even lower and it's one overclock disable on this motherboard when it's um, instant overclock um, giving you the profiles profiles to overclock your computer sometimes this profile doesn't work even if it says so it's not stable like after 20 percent just because you need to set everything manually and that's what we're gonna do overclock disable and then manual overclock on your motherboard it's probably gonna say something else but just you know just think something close to this where um, the main feature that I'm gonna discuss about it in a second going to be allow for you to set them you need to unlock it or enable it and then set and the, those main features is going to be um, FSB front side bus CPU clock which is this one 333 megahertz then you need to see the memory divider a divider that's gonna divide the CPU clock versus memory speed as you can see something like this a divider and what it's gonna do as you can see right now I'm having 1066 megahertz on my memory if I'm gonna run everything at the stock as a design when I set my CPU in the, the socket and socket 7075 has uh, 7075 um, pins that's why it's called 7075 but it's not designed on the CPU like it was before on 478 socket it's now it's designed into the motherboard into the socket and um, the CPU has just the connectors which is Intel decided safer so as you can see if I'm gonna just set my CPU and boot in at the stock speed my memory not gonna run at 1333 megahertz it's gonna run lower at 1066 megahertz and how to fix this problem uh, I need to find my divider and set divider to the perfect 133 uh, megahertz so now if I'm gonna um, click F10 and it's going to be on those motherboards um, every motherboards out there that I saw that designed for the overclocking or designed for the bias changing information F10 is the key to save the information into the CMOS a little chip that's gonna ca uh, capture and save that information uh, so next time when you're gonna boot your computer this information is going to be uh, just the way you set it so by clicking yes and click enter Y and click enter it's gonna save into the CMOS and it's gonna exit to restart your computer also if you're gonna click escape and by save and exit setup uh, it's gonna do just the same okay let's click enter
It's gonna restart the computer and uh, this motherboard's kicking the fans pretty high every time it's restarting the computer. Not all do, so that's why it's going to be a little bit noisy. And I have some fans that needs to be replaced as well. I have just two fans and one is pretty bad, it's pretty loud. I, it was cheap like $3.99 and I need to replace it. It's on the side fan. So what what's gonna happen here? It's gonna get the settings, save the settings, and it's gonna boot the computer. And let's see. It's gonna boot our computer. And by pressing the delete button, and you heard that beep, a post comment. You need to hear that post comment every time. Um, okay, it's gonna set it up and put it in again. I just I just was pressing some buttons on my keyboard. That's what what happened. I just. But anyways, you need to hear that beep. It's a post uh, signal. It means that system is ready to po uh, post and ready to start. And I'm gonna click the delete button. And I'm gonna go to my BIOS, and as you can see, everything is sa saved now. 133 megahertz, which is nice. And memory, and uh, but I didn't touch the CPU yet. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna give you some introduction. When you overclocking uh, your processor and CPU, okay, let me give you one more tip. CPU is not a computer that on top of your desk or behind your desk or uh, it's not this called CPU to call it CPU uh, if you're watching this tutorial you need to watch it 10 times uh, 2 times at least and memorize the terminology that I'm gonna tell you uh, that computer that sits on your desk or behind your desk we call it tower um, mini tower uh, desktop, whatever you want to call it. CPU is the center processor unit that sits on your motherboard in a socket for the CPU. And on top of it, it usually sits the heat sinks and a fan. Alright? So, uh, to overclock your CPU or your processor, uh, you need to um, have access to the front side bus which is over here FSD in the shirt uh, then you need to have access to the uh, clock ratio unlock or CPU multipliers as over here if I'm gonna click enable and I'm gonna go to the clock ratio I can set from 6 to 9 as you can see and when I'm setting from 6 to 9 you can see my target CPU core speed is changing as well and why, why why do we need six well times six multipliers how are we getting that target CPU core speed in the first place target CPU core speed we're getting by multipliers or clock ratio times um, front side bus and front side bus is 333 megahertz. That's how we get in it. So we need to front side bus FSB times the clock ratio. And then we're gonna the answer is going to be our target CPU core speed or per core or in Pentium 4 per the CPU. And it's called the in external uh, frequency of the processor. Alright? So uh, when we are clocking our CPU, we need to get the access to the multipliers, front side bus, uh, and um, multipliers is not, uh, you don't need that all the way, but you need to definitely get access to the front side bus, and you need to get access to the memory uh, speed, where you can control manually the memory speed, as well as control memory front side bus, and the uh, 
in some motherboards you can type what you want your memory to be in some you have the dividers some doesn't update in real time and doesn't doesn't show your system memory speed in real time if it's not gonna show your memory speed in 